Greetings. My name is Brenda Van Gova, founder of the UN Chamber Music Society. Thank you for joining us for today's concert in support of the relief efforts to provide life-saving assistance to the victims of the earthquake that took place near the turkey syria border on February 6, 2023. I would like to thank the UN Undersecretary General for Global Communications, Melissa Fleming, the Senior Policy Advisor at the UN Refugee Agency, Faraz Kayal, and Izet Bari from the Executive Office of the Secretary General for their opening statements and kind support to this concert. I am pleased to deliver today's performance together with the beautiful and talented international Lebanese singer Abir Neme, Turkish musicians, Syrian musicians, and the wonderful members of the UN Chamber Music Society. We and the whole United Nations community stand in solidarity with the people of Turkey and Syria today in the wake of these recent tragic events. We hope that through our concert today, we will contribute to alleviating some of the suffering that this earthquake has caused. We encourage you to donate to the UN Turkey Syria Earthquake Humanitarian Crisis Appeal to deliver life-saving assistance to those affected by this massive tragedy. These resources will be used to provide critical aid and relief. I thank you. Dear colleagues and friends, one of the biggest natural disasters of our time just unfolded in front of our eyes resulting in a crisis of colossal proportions. The earthquakes that struck Turkey and Syria have caused extensive loss of life. There have been more than 9,000 aftershocks. As of the end of February, over 48,000 people have been killed and many more have been injured in the two countries. More than 150,000 buildings, including schools and hospitals, have collapsed or been damaged. Millions of people are directly affected, while tens of thousands of people are suffering from horrific trauma and exposed to unforgiving winter conditions. We have not yet seen the full extent of the damage. Numbers are expected to rise as recovery efforts are continuing. Hearing those overwhelming numbers can be excruciating. Behind the, those numbers, though, are countless heart-wrenching individual stories of human loss, suffering, but also of miraculous survival. Disasters impact everyone, women, men, children, the elderly. However, vulnerable people are, as ever, hit the hardest compounding the suffering of those who are already affected by conflict, people on the move, and other marginalized groups. The United Nations and its agencies continue to be on the front lines to provide help and assistance now and in the long term. UN staff on the ground and here at headquarters are mobilizing emergency teams and have set up complex relief operations in both Syria and Turkey. We are assisting with search and rescue teams, providing emergency relief, food, medical supplies, thermal blankets, and other life-saving items. In the darkest time, in our lowest moments, we can turn to music to soothe the soul and find solace. Music connects us with others' experience and propels compassion. Today's concert is an opportunity to reflect and to show our solidarity and support to the people of Turkey and Syria in the face of unprecedented tragedy. I would like to recognize the United Nations Chamber Music Society for organizing this concert and for shining a light on how music can illuminate hope during difficult times. Thank you. Dear friends, I address you today with a heart filled with so much sorrow as we continue to witness the devastation of the deadly earthquake that struck Syria and Turkey. The severity and scale of the destruction of this natural disaster was unlike anything experienced previously within the region. The numbers tell a story of so much trauma, pain, and loss of precious life. 
as a Syrian myself and a UN staff member for over 20 years, I want you to know that you are not alone. On behalf of all my colleagues within the United Nations, those that are in our headquarters where I'm speaking to you now, as well as the tens of thousands worldwide, we would like to express our deepest condolences to those who have lost loved ones. Our thoughts and prayers go out to all those who have been affected by this terrible tragedy. Your suffering is our suffering. Your grief is our grief. But it is your resilience that gives us hope and guides us throughout this difficult time. In Syria, the earthquake came after 12 long years of conflict that caused considerable suffering to the Syrian people. It is a tragedy on top of a tragedy. The generous people of Turkey, the same people who have hosted so many Syrians in the past decades, are now having to deal with the unprecedented and devastating effects of this earthquake. The relief and humanitarian efforts deployed to respond to this earthquake disaster demonstrated human solidarity at its best, but also revealed the enormous magnitude of this tragedy, unlike that witnessed previously. The UN, my own organization, UNHCR, along with so many partner organizations and NGOs, are working tirelessly to ensure that relief efforts reach those in need. Rest assured that we will be with you during your journey to recovery. Dear friends, let us come together to bring hope and relief to those who have been affected by this earthquake. Let us show the world that in times of crisis, humanity prevails and compassion knows no boundaries. Aizana, بالنيابة عن موظفي الأمم المتحدة في جميع أنحاء العالم، أود أن أختم كلمتي هذه لأتوجه بخالص المواساة للعائلات المنكوبة من السوريين وأشقائهم الأتراك، ممن طالتهم التأثيرات الكارثية لهذا الزلزال. إلى كل من خسر كل شيء. وكل من فقد عزيزا وكل من ألمت به هذه الفاجعة يكاد اللسان يعجز عن وصف حجم الكارثة التي لحقت بكم لكنني أقول لكم من المقر العام للأمم المتحدة هنا قلوبنا معكم نحن نشعر بألمكم ونقف معكم في هذا المصاب الجلل وثقوا بأننا لن ندخر جهدا للتخفيف من معاناتكم شكرا إلى زهور الأرض في الركاب إلى بقايا القلب في الحطام إلى عناق الحب ونهايات الدرب إلى عيون الصمت والكلام هيا معي نزهر في حطامنا هيا معي نسكن في أحلامنا هيا معي الشمس فوق أيامنا هيا معي إلى أطفال يمشون حفاة على طريق الوعد والحياة يسكنون في الصوت الأقوى من الموت إلى انتظار يصبح صلاة هيا معي نزهر في حطامنا هيا معي نسكن في أحلامنا هيا معي الشمس فوق أيامنا هيا معي هيا معي لنا لقاء لنا من يمسح عنا دمع الشقاء لنا من يرفع عنا حمل البقاء لنا الطيور في السماء Oh
Hello, Salam Alaikum. My heart is heavy as I stand before you today, mourning the losses and lives in Syria and Turkey due to the recent earthquake. The devastation is unimaginable and the emerging stories and images are heart-wrenching. I can only imagine the pain and suffering of the victims and their families are going through right now. In the face of such tragedy, we have seen the best of humanity shine through. First responders, volunteers, and ordinary citizens have come together to help those in need, risking their lives to save others. Their bravery and selflessness is genuinely inspiring. I offer my deepest condolences for those who have lost their loved ones. To those injured and left homeless, know that you are not alone. We stand with you and will do everything we can to support you during this difficult time. Let us unite as a global community to extend our hand and compassion to support for those affected by the disaster. Together, we can help rebuild and restore hope for those who have lost so much. Türkiye ve Suriye'de meydana gelen son deprem felaketi kaybeden hayatlar için Allah'tan rahmet eylesin. Yıkılın düşünülmez boyutta ve ortaya çıkan hikayeler ve görüntüler yürek burkucu. Bu aileler ve şu anda neler yaşadıklarını tahmin bile edemiyorum. Böylesine bir felaket karşı karşıya kaldığımızda insanın en iyisinin ortaya çıktığını gördük. Afat ekipleri, gönüller ve sıradan vatandaşlar başkalarını kurtarmak için kendilerinin hayatlarını riske atarak yardıma koştu. Onlara cesaret verici, özverisi ve gerçekten imham verici. Sevdiklerini kaybedenler ve en derin taziyelerini sunuyorum. Yaralan ve eşsiz kalanlara yalnız olmadığınızı bilin. Yanınızdayız ve bu zor zamanda size destek olmak için elimizden gelenini yapacağız. Bu felaket ekip, ekip gereyenler yardımı ve uzmanı için küresel bir topluluk olarak bir araya gelelim. Birlikte çok şeyi yerinden inşa ederek ve umutları geri kazandırarak yardım edebiliriz. Geçmiş olsun.